What's going on guys? It's Jake. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the official trailer that dropped for Beyblade Burst GT. And then we're going to speculate a little bit and kind of talk about the possibility of Shu returning. So, let's just get right into it. Just a day or two ago, the official trailer for Beyblade Burst GT did release, and I'll leave a link in the description to where you can watch it for yourself. And it's only like 30 or 40 seconds long, so we can't really see too much, but we do get to see some of the new characters and a shining gold Valkyrie. Okay. Before we dive into it though, let's get this video to 1200 likes. The last video, yesterday's video, is already over 2,100 likes. Uh, big thanks for that, by the way. And I have a little bit of a secret, okay? And listen up, it's, it's actually a pretty big secret. If this video does not get to 1,200 likes, then Shu will not return in Beyblade Burst GT. <laughs> I can't say that with a straight face. That is completely not true, but 1200 likes anyways, that would be pretty awesome. So now diving straight into the trailer, we have a picture of our main character, Drum Koryu. Now a couple of names have been kind of popping up. I've seen both Drum and Dram, but it's looking like Dram was a bit of a mistranslation and Drum seems to be it which is a very interesting name. And it kind of makes me wonder what the English version of GT, what they're gonna do with that name, because they didn't change Vault, they changed Iga to Iger, and I kind of doubt they'll keep Drum, so I wonder what they'll change that to. Next, we have what seems to be the beginning of uh, Ace Dragon's special move, and I say that because it looks like Drum is kind of doing the battle, kind of battle crazy animation thing, kind of like what Iga had, where his hair kind of started to glow red and his, um, his ponytail broke and his hair spread out. It kind of looks to be the same thing that's going on here. And it's actually really cool because we see the dragon to his side and then we see drum kind of like a sideways point of view, but he had like a dragon horn. And I don't know, I just thought that looks really cool. It definitely is a bit more interesting to me than Iga's hair just kind of exploding and then later on you see the gold valkyrie that i mentioned earlier and it's not just a gold glow the entire beyblade is gold and then we see one of the new characters which is kind of like the new shoe or at least it has a similar design to shoe and his name is delta and we see him kind of looking at that gold bay because you can see the gold glow that is going onto his face. Now, I have no idea what this gold Beyblade thing could possibly mean, but uh, WBO user DronzerX13, he posted a link to a Japanese Beyblade Burst GT teaser website, and that had a series summary on it, which is in Japanese. But he is super awesome and translated it for us, and I don't know how perfect the translation is, so some of it may not make sense, but it's actually pretty interesting. So it reads, Vault Aoi completes a new evolution called the Gachinko Bay at BC Seoul. The Valkyrie that Vault launches in front of the two juniors, Drum Koryu and Delta Akane, shines gold as it dashes through the stadium. Drum and Delta are given a glimpse of the endless potential of bays, and the two aim for the Bay of Light as they harden their resolve to the world. Now the story of Drum and Ace Dragon's adventure and growth begins. So, huh? So what we do know is that Drum Koryu and Delta Akane are vaults kind of students, I guess. Vault is the mentor to them. It doesn't really seem like the gold Beyblade thing is actually going to be a part of the show. It's more like Delta and Drum are looking at it and it's just so amazing to them that it like appears like it's glowing and that it's gold, but it's not actually happening. But who knows, it could surprise us and this could be a like a, a gimmick for Gachinko in the show that Beyblades glow gold. 
I have no idea. One part of this that is throwing me for a loop though is the Bay of Light line. I really have no idea what that means and this could just be uh, kind of like a mistranslation or just something that does not translate to English that well because that's the only part in this whole entire summary that is kind of unknown and doesn't really make a lot of sense on its own but I'm sure this is kind of tied to that whole Golden Bay thing and we'll definitely see more of it in the weeks to come. So moving on we have a picture of Amane Kusaba who is a new character and he is the owner or user of Bushin Ashura and I'm actually kind of excited for this character because of the fact that he just reminds me of Dinah a lot, or Daigo if you watch the dub. I don't really know why, it's just that his design, he has the whole headband thing, and he has the jacket, and he has, I don't know, it's, his face just reminds me of Daigo a lot. I don't really know why, he just gives me Daigo vibes, so I am pretty excited to see what his character is like in the show. And then finally, we have a picture of what looks to be Dragon Shoot, which is something that Drum does mention in the trailer, and it's in the shape of a D, which is interesting. It's not confirmed whether or not this is Dragon Shoot, but I mean, it's in a D, and it looks like he had to launch it in a special way for it to do this, so I do believe that this is his special move, and what we saw earlier, you know, where he was going all Super Saiyan, and he had the blue dragon horn, that would be like the beginning of this, so I think maybe these two are definitely connected. So now guys, we're gonna do a little bit of a change up, we're gonna stop talking about the trailer for GT, and we're gonna just kind of discuss the possibility of Shu making a return, and I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about it. I do want to start this off by giving a little bit of context, and that is gonna be kind of spoiler-ish. So if you don't want any of Cho Z or Turbo spoiled for you, then I would definitely kind of skip ahead or just click off this video in general because you're about to get some stuff spoiled for you, son. Just to quickly go through it, Shu was a main character in the first season and he was a major character in the second season. And then in Cho Z, he really wasn't. There was mentions of him, uh, he was kind of like a mentor to Fubuki, but he did not show up for real in the anime with his new Spriggan until way later in. He helped Aiga create his new Achilles and then went on to fight Fi and spoiler alert, lost and his Beyblade was actually destroyed. But all is not lost because in like the very next episode, uh, Spriggan was okay again, who is all right, don't worry, just use some super glue, it's fine. And now Shu is probably just gonna be there for the final couple of episodes, he's probably not gonna contribute anything, he'll just kind of be there supporting Aiga and, and Vault and, and the good guys, he's just a member of the good guy gang. So I don't really think we'll see Spriggan in a big way again. Now that that's over with, we can actually move on to Beyblade Burst GT. And this does kind of worry me because we may not see Shu fully return. So let's look at the facts a little bit. Jaka did not return in a big way to Beyblade Burst Cho Z. It was kind of like a passing of the torch onto Jean, and now Jean is the main Excalibur user as of right now at least. And if you haven't seen my last video, I talked about the possibility of free returning because we have a new Fafnir and it's looking like he won't and it looks to be the same Jaka Jean situation where we have a new Fafnir owner whose name is Fumia. Something that does kind of worry me is the way that free kind of came back in Chozy was pretty much the same way that Shu came back. They weren't really there the entire show, but they were there when it mattered and when the show kind of needed them. And now that it looks like Free isn't coming back and Fafnir is going to be owned by a new person, then maybe Shu won't come back, but we'll see Spriggan owned by somebody else. Obviously, I would be very against this. I'm pretty sure you guys would as well, because it's just such a major 
character. I would say that Shu is right along with Vault for the most important characters in all of Beyblade Burst. Free, Louie, uh, Jaka, they're all a little bit under them, but Shu and Vault are up here. And Takara Tomi knows this. I'm pretty sure that they know that Shu is their most popular character. I mean, Shu is my favorite. He's my favorite. And I'm pretty sure he's a lot of your favorites too. We know that Shu is definitely not going to come back in the first few months of GT being out because next month's release is a Fafnir and then the one after that I think is going to be for Delta's Beyblade. I'm not too confirmed on that so don't take that as the truth but I'm pretty sure we're going to see newer characters get Beyblades first before Shu does and that's one of the reasons why we didn't see Shu until the very end of Cho Z. And that's one of the reasons why we didn't get a new Spriggan until one of the last releases of Cho Z. For what I think, I think that Spriggan will definitely come back. It'll come back towards the end of the show, or at least, you know, maybe the middle part. And it will be a really good Gachinko Beyblade. It'll set the standard for a little while because that's what Shu always does, or that's what Spriggan always does. It's always seen as a really, really good, really powerful Beyblade because it's owned by Shu. But I just don't think that Shu is going to come back. I think maybe he'll be seen for like an episode or two, but the new Spriggan is gonna be owned by someone else because Free might not come back, Jaka is probably not going to come back, and it's looking like Beyblade Burst GT is, like Cho Z, kind of a reboot. We have all new characters again, and all new main character again, so I just, I don't know, I just personally doubt that Shu will come back, but just, I don't know, I, I have no idea, let me know what you think in the comments down below. But I think that's going to wrap up this video, guys. We took a look at the Beyblade Burst GT teaser trailer, which kind of gave us some information on what could be Ace Dragon's special move, Dragon Shoot. And then we also saw the weird gold Valkyrie, which is going to be really interesting to see what they do with that. And then we talked about the possibility of Shu returning. Once again, I think Spriggan will come back, but I just kind of doubt that Shu will. But if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button down below. Once again, we are trying to get to 1,200 likes, and you should subscribe if you're not subscribed by now, because the Nook Nation is just the most awesome nation on YouTube. Have you ever, like, reached into your pocket and pulled out a $5 bill that you didn't even know about? Like, how did this $5 bill even get there? And you kind of feel good because now you have, like, $5 that you didn't have before? That's what being a part of the Nook Nation feels like. Like you pulled money out of your pocket. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Have fun and pay away.